um, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually went away right now. Eugenia Coney uses her mental illness to maintain her YouTube success and relevance. Don't throw stones at me, guys. These are not my words. On a serious note, loves, the Eugenia Coney situation is just too sad because this isn't the first time that she's trending and her story is nothing to smile about. Okay, a little disclaimer here, y'all. Now, we usually spill the tea on YouTubers and celebs, but today's topic is a little different. But I promise you this is a necessary conversation you guys let me explain this video will heavily discuss ed body image and food issues so consider this a trigger warning loves you see youtubers are always famous for specific things like pranks fashion gaming etc however what happens when a content creator's identity revolves around a not so inspiring situation and to make matters worse they don't seem eager to fix it this is the story of eugenia cooney you guys one that has created such a divide between her diehard fans and others who are always calling her out for using her struggles for internet fame. And so, whenever her name comes up, these two groups literally go to war. But the million dollar question remains, that remains unanswered, is, is Eugenia Cooney milking her mental health and looks for clout, likes, and money? Okay loves, with that said, let's get right into it. Eugenia Cooney's story is a good example of how social media can destroy a person, y'all. Um, the thing is, the internet blurs the line between entertainment and self-destruction. And we have seen way too many people come on here with good vibes and all, but the fame they so much pursue becomes their downfall. Take Eugenia Coney's case, for instance. Wasn't she just this cool YouTuber talking about fashion, makeup, and vlog videos? She was this bubbly, energized, funny, and relatable person that people really loved. And I'm talking like literally 10 years ago, you guys. But if we're being honest, what really made her famous was opening up about her ED, which in the first place was such a bold move and people really related with her situation and loved her boldness because it was a struggle many were battling but were never bold enough to talk about. Eugenia became the voice and role model to many because she helped create awareness about this issue. But then something changed. People kind of just be really quick to like twist around my words or be like, she knows what she's doing. Shut up! You guys are so stupid, like seriously. As Eugenia grew to become one of the most recognizable faces on YouTube, people started noticing something terribly wrong with her health. Okay, so right from the start, people would be like, oh, she's pretty petite, but that was it. However, while on one hand, Eugenia's fan base grew bigger and bigger, she was drifting away both physically and mentally. Literally every comment on her videos would be about her health, and you could see that people were genuinely concerned about her. Strangely, Eugenia ignored all those comments, and yet every single video she made from then on literally seemed like she was just using her body for attention. Remember y'all, Eugenia's deteriorating health made her appear weaker and skinnier. But what did she do? You see, Eugenia had already established herself in the fashion space, where her videos involved dressing up and makeup. So Eugenia would make videos like fashion hauls, but it was clear that she was showing so much of her body instead of the outfits so that people could click and see how skinny she was. In fact, many were convinced that Eugenia was aiming for particular reactions from people and it worked. Eugenia has a passion with dressing up, makeup, and videos that include showing off her body. And not that there's anything wrong with that, be proud of who you are, be proud of your body, go girl slay. But in Eugenia's case, fans speculated that she's doing it on purpose. But that isn't all loves. The attention seeking was on another level. Her thumbnails were also literally screaming, look at me. So yeah, it was all on purpose for clickbait and views. Speaking of clickbait, you guys, Eugenia was literally overdoing it. Like in these two videos where she talked about going away, which people clicked on so fast thinking, finally, our girl is taking some rest and minding her health. But it turned out Eugenia was just going on a vacation. Um. Yeah, so what are we kind of doing here, guys? Like, it's kind of like camping, like that kind of thing. Here, take a look at some of the comments. Just go, Eugenia. No one cares where you're going unless it's rehab. Something about this being clickbait is the last straw for me. She knows what she's doing, and I hate how everyone continues to coddle and baby her and treat her like she's an innocent angel who can do no wrong. If she wants to rot, then there's nothing any of us can do. Let her deal with the consequences. It's actually disgusting to use people's concern for clickbait. I want you to recover more than anything. We all do. And you just shove it back in our faces like it's a joke. To be honest, this was a one 
100% a middle finger to every person that actually and genuinely cares about her well-being. When I was deep in anorexia, I legitimately could not see it. So it took me a while to come to terms, but that title, she knows what she's doing. Anyways, here's the silver lining, guys. Finally, some good news. Back in 2019, Eugenia posted this video. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I wanted to do a Kingdom Hearts Kyrie cosplay video. I talk about Kingdom Hearts a lot on here because I love Kingdom Hearts. Guys, even a toddler could tell that Eugenia was in a really bad place. This was one of the most extreme moments in her battle with ED. Her eyes were turning yellow, which meant she might be at risk of liver problems. But that's not all, y'all. Her followers even pointed out that her legs were turning purple, a sign of blood circulation issues throughout her body. And you know what that means? A potential heart attack was looming for Eugenia, you guys. Eugenia was at her absolute worst. For the first time ever, Eugenia openly admitted that she wasn't okay. But unlike the many times she ignored pleas to get help, she finally announced that she'd be taking a break from social media to seek help. Y'all, I've never seen so much positive energy from fans. Comment after comment was purely good vibes and love. People told her she'd be okay and that she could take all the time she needed. That video got a whopping 8 million views. Still one of her best performing videos to date, guys. That tells you just how much people were rooting for any good news about Eugenia's health. And then Eugenia went MIA for a whole six months. Hi guys. So, um, I know I haven't posted a video in a very long time. Guys, when she finally came back, you could literally see a whole new Eugenia. She was glowing, so healthy, and so happy. Like, she was in a good place, both physically and mentally. But I did want to let you guys know that I'm back, and I'm really excited about that. And just like her fans had promised, they patiently waited for her grand return. That video gained 9 million views, and her fans were so over the moon about the new 180 degree transformation that they had always hoped for. This is the prettiest she's looked and the smartest and most mature she's ever sounded. The most insane thing about this video isn't the healthy weight gain, it's the fact that her brain is obviously working much better than it usually does. She isn't constantly pausing or repeating herself, her sentences are complete thoughts. I hope she gets back to this. Eugenia, we are all so proud of you, you're such an inspiration. Finally, after what seemed like a lost course, Eugenia was back to a former self, just like the early days of YouTube. Eugenia had proven that with dedicated medical attention, she could actually get better. Guys, I also wish I'd end the story here and say Eugenia Coney had her happily ever after moment, but I'm afraid that isn't the case. I hate to say this, but Eugenia's six months milestone was short lived y'all, which brings us to some very disturbing information about Eugenia. Now onto the saddest chapter of this wild story. After some time, people started noticing a trouble pattern. Eugenia Cooney's health was once again getting worse day by day, and everyone watched in disbelief, unable to figure out why she was falling off the chart. You guys, this is where I introduce someone that everyone refers to as the villain in this story, and it's none other than Eugenia's mother. And the sickest part of all this is that she should be the one advocating for her daughter's health, but not exactly. It turns out Eugenia's mother has always had a different agenda. How is your your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny yeah. mini, but she does take Exactly. Mini, We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, I'm sure y'all felt some type of way watching that, right? But that is not all. Someone exposed all the dirty secrets Eugenia's mom swept under the rug for years just to ensure Eugenia remains unhealthy. I know that, um, I know I've tried to talk to her before. Uh, I know you've tried to talk to her before. There's been many incidents where I would either send a text and it was difficult to see like someone that was so sweet like deteriorating in front of your eyes. So apparently after that brief attempt on the path to recovery and even going to rehab, what many people didn't know was that Eugenia's recovery wasn't supposed to happen. We found out from this YouTuber named Jacqueline that Eugenia's mom actually watched her daughter's condition get worse, even to the point of a possible heart attack, and she didn't do anything about it. Jacqueline had to practically drag Eugenia to visit her, and that's how they got her into rehab. You won't believe it, but when Eugenia's mom found out, all hell broke loose, y'all. 
Like, not only was she super mad, she called Jacqueline names and even wanted to sue her for kidnapping Eugenia. Eugenia's mom is a dangerous person. She fought us on trying to get her help every single step of the way. We had to trick Eugenia into coming to my place so that we could help her. Her mom yelled at me, screamed at me, uh, tried to call the cops on me to have me arrested for kidnapping. What on earth? It finally made sense to everyone why Eugenia's condition had been so bad for years. Again, guys, I wish this story would get better, but here we are. You might think that after Eugenia realized her mom was the poison all along, she'd stay away from her, right? Well, Think again. Even with the positive changes she made, Eugenia didn't appreciate that Jacqueline called the cops for help. After getting out, she defended her mom and get this, ended her friendship with Jacqueline. I don't think she saved my life whatsoever. If anything, she actually put me in a very dangerous Jacqueline situation. Jacqueline genuinely cares about you. She's just trying to get through to you. I don't- T-H-S-T, she's a good person. I personally disagree with you on that. I'm not trying to say she's a bad person. But in my experience, she just has not like been a very good friend to me. So, yeah. At this point, it goes without saying that Eugenia relapsed and the glimmer of hope that everyone had faded away as quickly as it came. As you can already tell, her loyal followers went back to worrying and reminding her to take care of her health. Remember the video where she came back from her six months break and people showered her with love for the progress? Well, if you check the comments on that video, you'll notice that all the comments from four years ago when the video was posted were full of love and positivity since that's the only time people saw her fight fighting for her life and making progress. To this day, they still watch and comment, hoping Eugenia will see it and remember what she can achieve when she puts in the work. So the latest comments are quite a contrast from the older ones. She had a chance here. She really had a chance. It's so sad to rewatch this and see how bad she is now. She seemed so alive and genuinely human in this video. It truly breaks my heart. I wanted to see her be so much better. Tomorrow will be four years since this video came out. It's so heartbreaking that when this first came out, we were all so happy and proud of the success of her recovery. Now it's gotten to a point where I believe there's really no saving her. We're all holding on to nothing. Everyone will continue to say as long as she's alive, there's hope. However, I've been rooting for her since the beginning, but there are too many signs that she'd rather go out this way. I hope I get proven wrong and she'll be able to at least be as healthy as she was in this video. Many people have given up hope on Eugenia's case, especially because she keeps playing a victim whenever people bring up this topic. The day we're looking into the life of a famous YouTuber who allegedly uses her mental illness to maintain her success in the industry. This is the story of Eugenia Cooney. <laughs> Why do you guys do this to me? Seriously. Eugenia's health keeps getting worse and worse and at some point people said, you know what? Enough is enough. There was literally an online petition to kick Eugenia off all social media platforms because folks thought that she was becoming a bad influence. And I think that Twitch is one of the main reasons for her relapse. Since that online uproar, Eugenia hasn't been as active on YouTube as she used to be. It's probably because she realized that people's opinions of her have changed a lot. But don't get me wrong, she's still super active on other platforms like TikTok and Twitch. Sadly, this might be one of the reasons for her problems. You see, Twitch is a live streaming platform and there she talks directly to people and you know how the internet can be so unkind. Eugenia deals with a lot of people who body shame her. I don't know why I'm crying about this. This is like literally stupid. But just leave me alone. But even with all that, Eugenia is still one of the most successful personalities on Twitch, just like she was on YouTube. And even worse, she's still completely aware that she's milking her situation with her mother's support, of course. Anyways, loves, I would love to hear your opinions on this situation down below. Also, don't forget to click on the tab above for more videos on these celebrities and influencers.